Ukraine is well positioned to regain the initiative and to launch counteroffensives in critical sectors of the current front line, says the Institute for the Study of War, adding that ongoing Russian offensive along the Svatova Kremina line around Bakhmut and along the Avdiivka Donetsk city and Vugledar front lines have failed to make more than incremental tactical gains in 2023. Ukrainian forces likely conducted a localized counterattack southwest of Bakhmut amid growing Russian discussion about the potential Ukrainian counteroffensives in this area. The Institute for the Study of War says Russia has committed the approximately 300,000 mobilized soldiers called up by partial mobilization in September last year for the purpose of pursuing exactly such a spring offensive to this various offensive efforts. Now, if 300,000 Russian soldiers have been unable to give Russia a decisive offensive edge in Ukraine, it is highly unlikely that the commitment of additional forces in future mobilization waves will produce a dramatically different outcome this year. Another evidence the UK Defense Ministry says on the 3rd of March, authorities in the Russian control part of Zaporizhia region published a decree that declares occupied Melitopol as the regional capital. Russia has never occupied Zaporizhia city, a major industrial center of 700,000 people, which is approximately 35 kilometers from the current front line. The quiet declaration of an alternative capital is likely acknowledgement within the Russian system that its forces are highly unlikely to seize previously planned major objectives in the near future. Now, the tempo of Russian offensive operations across the theater has slowed down in recent weeks, suggesting that the Russian offensive in Donbass may be nearing culmination.